Hello and welcome. Today we will read The Lost Word by the poet Esther Morgan. Esther Morgan is a British poet and she is a very celebrated poet now. Her first poetry collection was published in 2001. Um, she taught creative writing in the University of East Anglia. She is a celebrated poet in the sense that she's got quite a few awards uh, for her poems. Her style is distinctive for the imagery she uses. She creates very vivid images and often towards the very end, she says something very profound which stays with you. Her poems are also mostly short. She doesn't write very long poems. This is my understanding of her poetry. Also, the images that she builds are very accessible and catchy. So a person who may not be uh, very drawn into poetry like myself would still be um, uh, you know drawn by esther morgan's own style um, for instance there's this one poem called bone china where she talks about her own experience of living in a big house and in this big house she had found some pieces of bone china dug up um, into the ground or into the earth and she in her, this poem she draws this image she imagines the life stories of the people of the women who would work in this big house and um, in this so she develops a very empathetic picture of the people who would work here and it's a very distinctive different poem one doesn't come across very often so the poem that we would be doing covering right now is the lost word one could even call it a feminist poem because she uh, draws images very feminine images uh, from everyday life every day domesticity and she says that women often find it difficult to express themselves so she says she's lost a word and searches for it everywhere Behind the sofa, at the back of dusty cupboards and drawers, she picks through buzzing rubbish sacks. Under the carpet, she finds lots of others she'd forgotten she'd swept there, but not the one she's looking for. The trouble is, it's small, only two letters, though no less valuable for that. She stands racking her brains for the last time she used it, but all that comes to mind are failed attempts, when her mouth was full of someone else's tongue. Now, the image as it is very clear, the the language is very simple, but she says that she's, there's this woman who has lost a word and she's looking for that word. Now, where does she look for that word? She looks for that word uh, within the home, right? And she would lo live in this ho house, in the home. That's the reason she's looking for that word f within the home. She does not go um, to the street. She does not go to her office. She does not go to her park to look that uh, to look for that word she's only looking for that within the home which means that she finds it difficult to express herself within the four walls within her confinement within her own domesticity and she says that uh, and she looks for this word in dusty cupboards and drawers um, and there's rubbish so perhaps she's been living in this house for a very long time right and she also looks for it under the carpet now what do we put under the carpet or what do we push under the rug things which we are embarrassed by or things which bring us pain or things which just we just want to forget right and she's actually willed herself to forget many things and that's what she's saying you know she's she'd forgotten she swept there she's willingly kept things kept words under the carpet right but she's also forgotten it and but the one word that she's looking for is a very small word it says and it has only two words and we know that the small word with only two letter which is only two letters is actually no n o no and she finds it difficult to say that no she stands racking her brains for the last time she used it so me it means that she has been unable to willingly say no to somebody but all that comes to mind are the failed attempts when her mouth was full of someone else's tongue which means that she's been using a language which does not belong to her she's been conditioned to use a certain language which she doesn't necessarily feel um she does not resonate with but she still has to use that language 
so she is unable to express herself within her own home that's the uh, small poem but also very profound thank you visit my channel for more such poems